Metabolic network reconstruction and simulation allows for an in-depth insight into the molecular mechanisms of a particular organism. In particular, these models correlate the genome with molecular physiology. A reconstruction breaks down metabolic pathways into their respective reactions and enzymes, and analyzes them within the perspective of the entire network. In simplified terms, a reconstruction collects all of the relevant metabolic information of an organism and compiles it in a mathematical model. Validation and analysis of reconstructions can allow identification of key features of metabolism such as growth yield, resource distribution, network robustness, and gene essentiality. This knowledge can then be applied to create novel biotechnology. In general, the process to build a reconstruction is as follows. Draft a reconstruction. Refine the model. Convert model into a mathematical, computational representation. Evaluate and debug model through experimentation. Genome scale metabolic reconstruction. A metabolic reconstruction provides a highly mathematical, structured platform on which to understand the system's biology of metabolic pathways within an organism. The integration of biochemical metabolic pathways with rapidly available, unannotated genome sequences has developed what are called genome scale metabolic models. Simply put, these models correspond metabolic genes with metabolic pathways. In general, the more information about physiology, biochemistry and genetics is available for the target organism, the better the predictive capacity of the reconstructed models. Mechanically speaking, the process of reconstructing prokaryotic and eukaryotic metabolic networks is essentially the same. Having said this, eukaryote reconstructions are typically more challenging because of the size of genomes, coverage of knowledge, and the multitude of cellular compartments. The first genome-scale metabolic model was generated in 1995 for Haemophilus influenza. The first multicellular organism, Elegans, was reconstructed in 1998. Since then, many reconstructions have been formed. For a list of reconstructions that have been converted into a model and experimentally validated, see http colon slash slash sbrg.ucsd.edu slash and silico organisms slash other organisms. Drafting a reconstruction. Resources because the time scale for the development of reconstructions is so recent, most reconstructions have been built manually. However, now, there are quite a few resources that allow for the semi-automatic assembly of these reconstructions that are utilized due to the time and effort necessary for a reconstruction. An initial fast reconstruction can be developed automatically using resources like Pathologic or Ergo in combination with encyclopedias like Metapsych, and then manually updated by using resources like Pathway Tools. These semi-automatic methods allow for a fast draft to be created while allowing the fine-tune adjustments required once new experimental data is found. It is only in this manner that the field of metabolic reconstructions will keep up with the ever-increasing numbers of annotated genomes. Databases Kyoto Encyclopedia of Genes and Genomes a bioinformatics database containing information on genes, proteins, reactions, and pathways. The KGG Organisms section, which is divided into eukaryotes and prokaryotes, encompasses many organisms for which gene and DNA information can be searched by typing in the enzyme of choice, biopsych, ECOCYC, and metapsych. BioPsych is a collection of 3,000 pathway genome databases, with each database dedicated to one organism. For example, ECOCYC is a highly detailed bioinformatics database on the genome and metabolic reconstruction of Escherichia coli, including thorough descriptions of E. coli signaling pathways and regulatory network. The ECOCYC database can serve as a paradigm and model for any reconstruction. Additionally, Metapsych, an encyclopedia of experimentally defined metabolic pathways and enzymes, 
contains 2,100 metabolic pathways and 11,400 metabolic reactions. Enzyme An enzyme nomenclature database. After searching for a particular enzyme on the database, this resource gives you the reaction that is catalyzed. Enzyme has direct links to other gene enzyme literature databases such as KEGG, Brenda, and PubMed. Brenda, a comprehensive enzyme database that allows for an enzyme to be searched by name, EC number, or organism. Big, a knowledge base of biochemically, genetically, and genomically structured genome scale metabolic network reconstructions. Metatiger is a collection of metabolic profiles and phylogenomic information on a taxonomically diverse range of eukaryotes which provides novel facilities for viewing and comparing the metabolic profiles between organisms. Tools for Metabolic Modeling Pathway Tools A bioinformatics software package that assists in the construction of pathway genome databases such as ECOCYC. Developed by Peter Karp and Associates at the Sri International Bioinformatics Research Group, Pathway Tools has several components. Its pathologic module takes an annotated genome for an organism and infers probable metabolic reactions and pathways to produce a new pathway genome database. Its Metaflux component can generate a quantitative metabolic model from that pathway genome database using flux balance analysis. Its Navigator component provides extensive query and visualization tools, such as visualization of metabolites, pathways, and the complete metabolic network. Ergo, a subscription-based service developed by Integrated Genomics. It integrates data from every level including genomic, biochemical data, literature, and high-throughput analysis into a comprehensive user-friendly network of metabolic and non-metabolic pathways. Catch Translator, an easy-to-use standalone application that can visualize and convert KEGG files into multiple output formats. Unlike other translators, Kedge Translator supports a plethora of output formats, is able to augment the information in translated documents beyond the scope of the KGML document, and amends missing components to fragmentary reactions within the pathway to allow simulations on those. Kedge Translator converts these files to SBML, Biopax, SIF, SBGN, SBML with qualitative modeling extension, GML, GraphML, JPEG, GIF, LaTeX, etc. KEGG pathways can directly be obtained from within the application. Model Seed, an online resource for the analysis, comparison, reconstruction, and curation of genome scale metabolic models. Users can submit genome sequences to the RAST annotation system, and the resulting annotation can be automatically piped into the model seed to produce a draft metabolic model. The model seed automatically constructs a network of metabolic reactions, gene-protein reaction associations for each reaction, and a biomass composition reaction for each genome to produce a model of microbial metabolism that can be simulated using flux balance analysis. Metamerge Algorithm for semi-automatically reconciling a pair of existing metabolic network reconstructions into a single metabolic network model. Tools for Literature, PubMed. This is an online library developed by the National Center for Biotechnology Information, which contains a massive collection of medical journals. Using the link provided by Enzyme, the search can be directed towards the organism of interest thus recovering literature on the enzyme and its use inside of the organism. Methodology to draft a reconstruction A reconstruction is built by compiling data from the resources above. Database tools such as KEGG and BioSci can be used in conjunction with each other to find all the metabolic genes in the organism of interest. These genes will be compared to closely related organisms that have already developed reconstructions to find homologous genes and reactions. These homologous genes and reactions are carried over from the known reconstructions to form the draft reconstruction of the organism of interest. 
Tools such as Ergo, Pathway Tools and Model Seed can compile data into pathways to form a network of metabolic and non-metabolic pathways. These networks are then verified and refined before being made into a mathematical simulation. The predictive aspect of a metabolic reconstruction hinges on the ability to predict the biochemical reaction catalyzed by a protein using that protein's amino acid sequence as an input and to infer the structure of a metabolic network based on the predicted set of reactions. A network of enzymes and metabolites is drafted to relate sequences and function. When an uncharacterized protein is found in the genome, its amino acid sequence is first compared to those of previously characterized proteins to search for homology. When a homologous protein is found, the proteins are considered to have a common ancestor and their functions are inferred as being similar. However, the quality of a reconstruction model is dependent on its ability to accurately infer phenotype directly from sequence, so this rough estimation of protein function will not be sufficient. A number of algorithms and bioinformatics resources have been developed for refinement of sequence homology-based assignments of protein functions. In Paranoid, identifies eukaryotic orthologs by looking only at in paralogs. CDD, resource for the annotation of functional units in proteins. Its collection of domain models utilizes 3D structure to provide insights into sequence, structure, function relationships. Interpro provides functional analysis of proteins by classifying them into families and predicting domains and important sites. String database of known and predicted protein interactions. Once proteins have been established, more information about the enzyme structure, reactions catalyzed, substrates and products, mechanisms, and more can be acquired from databases such as KEGG, Metacycron NCIUBMB. Accurate metabolic reconstructions require additional information about the reversibility and preferred physiological direction of an enzyme-catalyzed reaction which can come from databases such as Brenda or Metacyc database. Model refinement An initial metabolic reconstruction of a genome is typically far from perfect due to the high variability and diversity of microorganisms. Often, metabolic pathway databases such as KEGG and Metapsych will have holes, meaning that there is a conversion from a substrate to a product for which there is no known protein in the genome that encodes the enzyme that facilitates the catalysis. What can also happen in semi-automatically drafted reconstructions is that some pathways are falsely predicted and don't actually occur in the predicted manner. Because of this, a systematic verification is made in order to make sure no inconsistencies are present and that all the entries listed are correct and accurate. Furthermore, previous literature can be researched in order to support any information obtained from one of the many metabolic reaction and genome databases. This provides an added level of assurance for the reconstruction that the enzyme and the reaction it catalyzes do actually occur in the organism. Any new reactions not present in the databases need to be added to the reconstruction. This is an iterative process that cycles between the experimental phase and the coding phase. As new information is found about the target organism, the model will be adjusted to predict the metabolic and phenotypical output of the cell. The presence or absence of certain reactions of the metabolism will affect the amount of reactants, products that are present for other reactions within the particular pathway. This is because products in one reaction go on to become the reactants for another reaction, i.e., products of one reaction can combine with other proteins or compounds to form new proteins, compounds in the presence of different enzymes or catalysts. Frank Real provide an excellent example as to why the verification step of the project needs to be performed in significant detail. During a metabolic network reconstruction of Lactobacillus plantarum, 
the model showed that succinyl-CoA was one of the reactants for a reaction that was a part of the biosynthesis of methionine. However, an understanding of the physiology of the organism would have revealed that due to an incomplete tricarboxylic acid pathway, Lactobacillus plantarum does not actually produce succinyl-CoA, and the correct reactant for that part of the reaction was acetyl-CoA. Therefore, systematic verification of the initial reconstruction will bring to light several inconsistencies that can adversely affect the final interpretation of the reconstruction, which is to accurately comprehend the molecular mechanisms of the organism. Furthermore, the simulation step also ensures that all the reactions present in the reconstruction are properly balanced. To sum up, a reconstruction that is fully accurate can lead to greater insight about understanding the functioning of the organism of interest.